Thank you. How are you today? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. I'm heading to Connecticut this morning. Um, I wrote RC a letter to try and explain how I felt, I guess. This is hard for me. I don't know how to say how I feel, so to put it down on paper actually is an easier way for me. At least it gives me an opportunity to speak at last. After writing the letter last night, it's made me realize the feelings I had for Darcy, and it's left me feeling torn. I don't know what's going to happen. I only have a short window of time left in New York, and I want to see if I can make things better with Darcy. I want to fix things, and I want to apologize for what just happened between the two of us in New York. But I haven't been able to contact Darcy. It seems unblocked on all forms of communication, so there was no option other than to see her in person. I just want to be able to tell her how I feel, I guess. And I don't think I ever have been able to. You know, I love Darcy. And the letter indicates how, you know, for me, a relationship should be built from the bottom up, put a strong foundation with someone that you love. And then hopefully with enough time and effort on both parts, you get to a place where you want to be, which would be getting married and would be settling down and would be having a family. I still love Darcy a lot, and she needs to hear what I have to say to her. The first time I've been to Connecticut, different to what I expected as well. It's very country, but well, at least this bit is. I don't particularly think it's going to go rather well. So why do it? I think in life you meet people that you connect with on a really strong level. And I want to see if I can have my happily ever after with all the things I wanted. And for the small glimmer of hope that something better from this will come, then I'll do it. But, I mean, this is like walking into the lion's den. And hopefully the lion's been fed. <laughs> There are the two cars. There must be theirs there. Are you able to wait, please? Thank you.